the steel sector is a key foundation of the European industry, employing over 330,000 people. However, global overcapacity and competition, sometimes unfair, as in many cases, uh, from producers outside the EU are creating enormous strains. Falling prices together with high energy costs are the cause of major adjustment in the industry, impacting on jobs and economic viability in regions. A competitive steel industry is a prerequisite for economic recovery and growth across Europe, particular as it's an important source of indirect employment in the SMEs that are a key part of the supply chain. I know from my own engineering background, so the importance of these ecosystems, where a lot of SMEs are so strongly dependent on the industry and, and steel industry especially. We must ensure a sound modernization of the steel industry so that we can keep on producing the cleanest and the best steel in the world. We have still much to do, not only in Europe, but throughout uh, the world. And that's why we, in modernizing the industry, we here we refer very strongly on clean tech and uh, the issues uh, dealing with the uh, uh, climate change. Investment lies at the heart of revitalizing European industry and economy. Local and regional decision makers are not only responsible for two thirds of public investment, but also contribute significantly to the creation of a sustainable environment for private investment. By renewing infrastructure, identifying and removing obstacles to invest and linking public and private partners together, local and regional authorities are at the heart of the creating sustainable growth and jobs. As part of our effort to relaunch investment, we are preparing the Pratislava Declaration on how best to promote investment in Europe, cities and regions for tangible results. The declaration will be adopted at the seventh European Summit of Regions and Cities in Bratislava in early July. In uh, closing, I would like to refer to your interesting initiatives on cluster partnerships, bringing together business and industry with local and regional actor, uh, actors. We welcome the Commission's approach to combine regional policy and industrial policy tools to position industrial policy in its regional context and to capitalize the potential of the region's smart specialization strategies to promote innovative industrialization or industrial modernization. Madam Commissioner, those are one strong an important part of your portfolio, along with the increasing startups and integrating creativity in this modernizing of the industry. The CR has promoted these synergies and the bottom-up action for years now, and will keep supporting this uh, place-based approach, which leaves it up to individual regions to decide whether or not industrial modernization should be the focus of their strategies for growth and jobs. Now, please, the floor is yours, Madam Commissioner. 